guys! So I have been up since five ish because I am going to Gran Canaria today. I got a call literally, it's Friday today, I got a call last Wednesday from a friend of mine who's a very well known director, um, Howard Ford, and he was like, Tiff, come to Gran Canaria, let's shoot some trailers and let's get out of the country and get some warmth. And I was like, oh, okay. So this past week has been a little bit hectic. Um, so I've packed everything, obviously, because my coach is in like an hour. Um, yeah, so I'm off to Gran Canaria. A little bit nervous. I've never been on a plane by myself. I've never been out of the country by myself. I've always been like a boyfriend or family and um, I'm terrified of flying. I'm terrified. So it's gonna be interesting. But yeah, it's gonna be exciting. So this is current situation of my bed. Got my <laughs> handbag and luggage, script, suitcase, and I've got my two girlies. Where's mommy going? Hey, Coco, where's mommy going? Is mommy going away for the weekend? Is she? You really don't care, do you? nine and we haven't eaten so I'm having an apple the resort manager said he doesn't go to bed till about two three in the morning I won't be staying up that late so <laughs> just got back to the apartment I'll show it to you tomorrow So basically, um, yeah, I'm very tired and I'm whispering. Okay, yeah, I'm so tired, so tired, and um. Crushed a golf buggy. That was fun. It's been a day. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna get some sleep because it's 11, 11.25 at night. I've been up for a very
So yeah, see you in the morning. Good morning guys. So it's just gone eight o'clock. We are up, we're ready, we're gonna start filming. Um, yeah, got a whole day of filming. I'm gonna have a little bit of breakfast after this first scene. I was just wanting to wait for some equipment. Look at this amazing place. I mean, there's loads of cars now, but look at all those mountains. Insane. So pretty. And that's a golf cart that I, that's not the golf cart, but I crashed one last night. Great fun. I mean, guys, look at that. Done. I'm now gonna go do some rock climbing and pet a donkey. Oh, and he's work right now. Donkey action. Hi! Hi, Margaret. Oh, you're so pretty. So we are speeding through. We've done some of the first trailer pretty much all of it apart from one or two bits. I'm now going to do some of the alien archaeology trailer, which will be fun. We're getting Fernando, the resort manager, involved in that. There's an alien skull, everything. Yeah, it's exciting. The joys of all the equipment that we have to carry. So we're about to bury an alien skull. Well, how it is, I'm just I've done with Tiffany. I'm scared of heights. into some running gear um, so my character went running so I got to run yay it's just like five minutes um, but yeah this is the joy where I'm getting changed it's great literally in a ditch but yeah so we're pretty much done at this location I'm gonna get some breakfast um, I've been eating a lot of well, not a lot. I've had like three of these native plums. They're really good. I've been picking them off the trees. But yeah, we're gonna get some breakfast and then we're gonna go to the next hotel later this afternoon to do some other stuff. And then we leave tomorrow afternoon. So yeah. We're gonna get changed again now. Okay. So, 
had a bit of a break, so I decided to do my five mile run and some boxing and the equipment lesson. Okay, this is the treadmill. Look at that belt go. Ooh. Yeah, and I don't know if you can see, actually you can't see it very well, but it started to smell of smoke. And it's a bit smoky. So, um, yeah, five miles is enough to break the machine. Yeah, did some boxing too. I was meant to pick up my stuff from the middle end of the treadmill. Look at all of this. Yeah, this, this treadmill's had it. Saying goodbye to our apartment. So we just arrived at the new hotel, it's very rural, um, I'm literally just parked in the car in the corner while Howard goes to see if we can get a parking space that he's paid for. It looks really really lovely, really lovely. So we've done pretty much all of our shooting today, we've just got a little bit left to do this evening in the hotel, hopefully they can give me some food because all I had pretty much at the resort last time they were great. Um, but for lunch today I had lettuce, tomato, avocado and cucumber and some papaya. Oh and there were some olives in there as well, that was my lunch. But yeah, and then tomorrow we're going to go to the museum and hopefully do a little bit of shooting there, like literally five minutes. Um, yeah, and then we're getting on the plane and going back home. I'm very tired today, we're both very tired today. I think it's because we were out in the sun all day yesterday, hiking. But I managed to go to the gym today for a little bit, did a five mile run. I think I broke the treadmill. Actually, the treadmill was already broken. It was very, very old and the the belt was broken and I kept, I started to smell smoke. There was dust coming off of it. I got a bit of a workout in, so that's good. I feel better for that. So yeah, see you soon. show you around our hotel room and um, how it's just going to get some more stuff from the car so basically look at this bathroom like look at that there I am they've given us like a whole selection of toiletries it's amazing and look oh wait okay like no oh it goes under under it clearly I'm just incapable. Um, but yeah, look at that. It's lovely. Of course, bathrobes. And then go through here. Please excuse all our bags. I'm really sleeping on the pull-out couch. Not because he's not gentlemanly, but because I offered. Um, because I was older than me. And you know, I'm nice like that. And then we've got um, this coffee area here. I don't actually know what's in here. I imagine this is like Oh no, just cupboards. Is this a fridge? No, boiler. What's in here? More cupboards. Lots of cupboards. Um, so yeah, this is like our little lounge area. And then in here. Oh, is this? What's all this? Oh, wait, wrong way. Oh, we do have a fridge. That's so cool. Could have brought my own food. Oh, I fell. What's in here? Even got a freezer, guys. Even got a freezer. And then more cupboards. I imagine these are wardrobes. Yeah, wardrobes. It's really dark in here, but basically, this is where Howard's going to sleep. Nice, nice. And then, out here, we've got a balcony. Look at this. Look at little chairs, table. Beautiful. So, yeah. This is where we are staying, just for one night. Um, I think we're going to go out for dinner tonight. There's a vegan restaurant really close by and it's rated one of the top restaurants in Gran Canaria. So I'm going to try and persuade Howard that we should go there. Yeah, I need some, need some protein, desperately after my block of tofu that I had for lunch yesterday. It was pretty much the last time I had proper protein. 
So yeah, I need to make myself look more presentable because this get up doesn't go with this. Yeah. Talk to you later. So you guys, we just got back from dinner. It was at this place called Bio, Lo Bio Loco, all vegan bar. It's kind of more like a diner. Um, it, it was really nice, a really yummy salad, but it was very odd in the fact that like there was no tofu on the menu, which I know sounds ridiculous, um, but I just always, I don't know, just thought that a vegan place would have tofu somewhere on the menu, but they didn't. They had some seitan, but obviously I can't eat that because I'm allergic to gluten. Um, so yeah, I had the yummy salad with some guacamole, some olives, um, some sun-dried tomatoes, and I added some chickpeas. Um, and there's some seeds on it as well. And then for dessert, Harold and I shared this gluten-free vegan um, cookie ice cream sundae, which was really good. So yeah, Howard's gone downstairs to back up some footage and chill down there for a bit, because it's, what, like nine, what time is it, 9.30, I'm an old woman, and I go to bed very early. Um, so yeah, Howard's gone downstairs to back up some footage and chill down there because he didn't want to do it in here because literally I'm here and his room is there so you don't want to keep me awake um, but yeah so we filmed the scenes that we had to do here it took like 20 minutes um, and then tomorrow morning we've got to be up because we've got to meet um, someone downstairs at 8.15 he's going to take us across the street to the museum there's a room full of skulls and we're going to hopefully film something there very briefly. Um, yeah, and then we've got our flight is at 12.45. So we're going to leave here by 10 at the latest. So not very long. And then home. It's been lovely. It's been really lovely to get some sunshine um, and to have a little bit of a holiday and to sort of break up my routine a bit. But and obviously to do some acting some with Howard and stuff and meet all these lovely people. It's really lovely. But I'm definitely someone who likes being at home, being with my family, being with the puppies, being in my own bed um, and having my routine. But it's good to break it up every now and again. But I'm, I'm ready to go home now. And then in two weeks, we head off to New York. That would be exciting, me, mum and dad going off to New York for a week, just before Christmas, that would be fun. So yeah, for right now, I need to get to sleep, I'm super, super tired. I forgot how much the heat makes you sleepy. So yeah, night night.
Puppies. <gasps> puppies and mommy and puppies. Hi, baby. 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 Hi, ba